Hey guys, Desolator Magic here with the Desolator News Network. Let's discuss why everybody's pissed about everything from the last two weeks in all of Magic. First, they made another uh, standard oracle text phrasing change, and oops, they broke 11 cards. So, Watsy Matt, aka Matt Tabak, said, uh, okay, well, we're gonna keep three alchemy cards and 11 other cards with the same wording saying post combat main phase because it's actually important that we specify that that's what we mean. Oops. So yeah, I broke Neheb. I think I gave him like infinite turns or something. I, I don't know. They, they just don't care. They just do not put in any effort. They think they can keep making changes like this. What really pisses people off is the fact that they obviously made this change to make cards more concise, not so that we have to read less. They are clearly not focusing on that. It's that they can fit more stupid words onto the cards. Next up, Nadu Winged Wisdom from Modern Horizons 3 is the number one card that is absolutely ruining Modern. Uh, multiple tournaments are going to be absolutely destroyed by it. And I can't wait for the, I think August is the next ban. When they ban Nadu and the One Ring. Uh, oh, what's that? Watsi's calling me. They say um, they don't want me to leak that information early. Well, uh, f*** you. Remember the Eldrazi winter where they said, well, let's wait. We don't want to disrupt the tournament. And then <laughs> guess what happened? Guess what happened? The broken Eldrazi crap ruined the tournament. It's like they don't even play Magic. They don't even have a fundamental understanding of fun and enjoyable low-level gameplay or top-level tournament or anything in between. Uh, people were bitching about the fact that there's like double the amount of cards with Reach than there were in, I don't know, a year or two ago. Somebody actually ran a statistical analysis bar graph of it. And a couple people are mad because they can't just auto-win drafts with flyers. Maybe they printed more reach cards so that you can't do that. Um, I'm getting reports that people are opening Spanish cards in the English pre-release kits. Uh, that's not all that went wrong with the pre-release. Really, I would sum it up as just general confusion about the rules because the cards are too damn complex and nobody can figure out what the hell's going on. And then Watsi decided, token packs? <laughs> Why? Bring a sticky note. And they allegedly did not do them this time around. I don't know, I didn't go to one, but that's what everybody's saying. Oh, and people are complaining that only one of the tokens is a sufficient level of cuteness. I should mention, though, that for once, the bonus sheet didn't completely destroy the pre-release, unless you went to the pre-release to get card value. Then it did. But from a power level, it sounds like it's pretty much all clear. Uh, I mean, the sword's pretty busted, but other than that, it's, uh, it's looking good for draft. Uh, starting tomorrow, I'm going to draft the hell of it on Arena, so uh, watch for that. We're probably going to live stream, like, I don't know, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, maybe. Uh, next up, the number one thing that people are pissed off about, and they had to make a mega thread, self-titled mega thread, it now qualifies, about the latest Secret Lair issues. So people are losing their minds over Monty Python and Watsy change from print to demand, which is like, oh, I buy it, then I gotta wait like six weeks. Or in the case of uh, Heads I Win, Tails, everybody who ordered it loses, you know, 13 months or never. You know, where if you have a thousand customers, okay, cool, that's fine. You know, print a thousand. But then if you get 9,000 orders, good thing you didn't only print 3,000. Because you would have left money on the table. Guess what they did this time? After they failed to realize that dumb, nerdy, old school, 30 to 40 year old humor, humor for people who are in that age bracket, might be a little popular. So this may shock you, but I've only seen probably like six minutes of the movie. Uh, Monty Python's Flying Circus, I believe it would be. Or Holy Grail, or... I don't know. Everybody said, oh, you gotta watch this, you'd love it. So I looked up just like Monty Python clip whatever on YouTube. This was like 18 years ago or something when YouTube was first invented. And I was like, the Ministry of Silly Walks. Well, that's Saturday Night Live level complete and utter lack of humor, but even worse because it's British. Look, with British humor, you roll the dice. You either get the IT crowd or you get Big Fat Game Show, shout out, or uh, you get pretty much the entire rest of British television. And uh, I was just like, nah, this, this cannot possibly be good. Even with John Cleese in it, he can't save it. Tell me if I'm wrong. Okay, I'm sure y'all are already typing away, but apparently it was very popular with other, well, the geek culture in the Magic the Gathering world, and uh, a lot of people went out to order it and found out that it was sold out after about eight seconds. Boy, I hope you weren't sleeping on that one, literally, like in a different time zone. I bet you, to this day, about 50% of all their sales on any given secret layer are scalpers, just in case. Because you can usually get at least face value or like a 10-20% loss on a bad day. For just about anything, you can split them apart, you can, you know, kind of wait five years and, you know. 
But now people are probably going to be, you know, two, three hundred bucks for those things. That's a shame. Now, the other thing is, as if the FTC would ever go after Watsy, although keep in mind, in a couple months, the entire U.S. government is going to be replaced by people who don't put the kid gloves on, haha, wink, wink, when it comes to uh, liberal companies and just let them get away with absolutely anything as long as they toe the line and uh, have the right politics. So uh, maybe Watsy will be in trouble for promoting gambling to children, lying about the odds on their packs and rigging the games on Arena and pretty much all the other shit. So WOTC, they usually say, oh, limited numbers, limited numbers, because it used to be printed demand. You order, you know, 8,000 of something, cool, they print 8,000, and then a little bit more for warranty claims. And then when they're done, they shred it after holding it for one to two years, I believe, is their policy. And then they totally don't just hand it out to the staff. They absolutely send it to the shredder. Mm-hmm. Although if we say we give it to the garbage, like we we send it to the dump, it goes to the garbage, and then they hand it to their employees. <laughs> Maybe, maybe that says something. Maybe that's how they refer to their employees. Maybe I have more in common with Watsy than I thought. <laughs> anyway, yeah, they don't do that no more. Cause, uh, you know, to actually print it and then with COVID and shipping delays and stuff, now they just decided to go with, ooh, FOMO, FOMO, FOMO. Oh my God, limited numbers, limited numbers, limited numbers. And then if they print 5,000 and 1,000 sell, they just shred the rest, you know, or bury them in a landfill. But when people want 15000 and you could have made an ass load of money on selling them five freaking singles that cost you about 10 cents a piece to run off max, and people are like, shut up, take my money, and waving their dollar bills in your face, and you say, oh, but we, we only printed one-fifth of what we need for the demand. <laughs> Oops. That's called being a massive dumbass. Now... I, I mentioned the FTC and the complaints here because if they were to say this is super limited, we're limiting it to this number, and then they turn around and print it again, that's pretty much fraud. Bare minimum false advertising. Now, they're not serialized and they're also not a priority for various reasons, but uh, yeah, they don't want any kind of legal trouble right now. That would be expensive and they can't really do expensive. They just fired 30% of their staff. They're barely even functioning as a company before any of this happened. Now they're barely functioning as a company at all. Well, you know what, Watsy? If every one of your employees votes for Trump, we might actually have a functioning economy for once. Ah, oh, but then we won't get to keep abusing kids and telling them they're trans. That's not fair. Uh, there's more smash and grabs. Also in the Austin, Texas area. Austin, Texas, as people usually refer to it, is the Sao Paulo, Brazil of Del Norte. That's what happens when you got a liberal haven run by a mayor who's a complete moron and a bunch of, like, district, uh, what, what would that be? Not senator, I don't know, congress people who are completely weak, incompetent, and push bullshit, and then you get a bunch of pro-drug, pro-crime, let everyone out crap. And the governor of Texas is an absolute joke right now, so, uh, when you vote Democrat, this is why you can't have nice things because they're going to, you know, smash and grab, steal all your magic crap, and then use it to buy drugs and then try and sell them to your kids. So if you're in Austin, uh, maybe don't live there. Maybe move somewhere else. It is honestly way the hell too hot in Texas. Y'all got to move north. What are you doing? All those California people moving in, man. Get out of there. Uh, they also misworded one of the cards in Bloomboro. Um, it says as long as it's not your turn, tapped creatures you control have hexproof. It's supposed to say during your turn, tapped creatures you control have hexproof. So the opposite. People aren't actually even sure which one is the correct one. And I'll just end with a Reddit post that says first time magic player already feel like stopping playing. That should be Wizards' new motto, because they are getting a grand total of nobody learning the game from scratch. They're trying to go after other fandoms, getting people who used to play to come back. I don't know why they possibly would, because there is zero chance that Magic is in a better state than it was whenever they quit, literally whenever that was. And they've got people quitting in droves. So um, this next rotation is going to be pretty much the end of Arena, and that'll be the end of their money, and that'll be the end of the company. So um, don't forget to subscribe to my other channels. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.